Hello everyone, God bless you. It's a beautiful day and this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today I was reading the book of Job and you know, I was just going over his story, his life story. How he was a righteous guy, a righteous man. He was um, perfect in the sight of God, you know. And the devil saw that. And he wanted to challenge God, per se, you know, like, God didn't know if Job, you know, like, if God don't know his own child, you know, and he said, the only reason why Job is, you know, so perfect and righteous is because you have a hedge of protection over him and you have given him riches. He is rich, so, you know, he is rich amongst all men in the East. And God said, okay, well, if that's what you think, go ahead. You know, and take away his riches, you know. Go ahead and give him diseases. Go ahead and do whatever you feel, but you're not going to touch his life. You will not touch his life. What's the message today? Some of us are going through it. Some of us who is in God and is in the will of God, you know yourself. You know what you do. You know, God knows what you do also. And you are doing the right thing for God. You are living a righteous life to the best of your ability that you know how to. You know, you're perfect in the sight of God. And yet, troubles and trials is coming your way. Things are looking not good in your life. Things are turning upside and down. Anywhere you turn is something. It's something that the enemy has inflicted you with. You know, the enemy is just setting up his, his demons all over the place to attack you. God is in it. I'm going to say that again. God is in it. Why is he in it? <laughs> to get glory. Just like Job. He allowed that to happen to get glory out of Job's life. He knew Job. He knew what Job can, you know, withstand and cannot withstand. He know his child. God knows each and every one of his children. So if he allow you to go through that mess, there's a message coming for you. There's a message for someone out there that needs deliverance, that needs to be saved. So don't despise what you're going through if you're going through it for the glory of God. I'm not talking about the things that you put yourself into, the mess that you get yourself into for yourself. I'm talking about the people who are doing the work of God and they know that they're living a righteous and holy life unto God, pleasing God to the best of their ability each and every single day, and yet they are in affliction. They are afflicted. Yes, I'm talking to you. If you are doing it, and you are in that stage, you are in that state, know that God has a purpose and a plan for your life. He has a purpose and a plan for everything that is happening to you. He wants to get the glory. And it's coming soon. It's coming very soon. Just like how Jesus is coming soon, yours is coming soon too. Your victory is coming soon too. So don't curse God and die. Rejoice and worship God in the <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God. In your valley. In those in affliction, all the tests that you have been going through, rejoice, give God the praise each and every single day. Be faithful unto God until the end, until he bring you out in victory. For others will see <laughs> the glory of God. I'm laughing right now because I know what I'm going through. <laughs> and God is ministering to me right now as I speak to you. He is ministering to me and he's saying that word is for you, Kizzy. Yes, you think that I had to give it to somebody else? It may be for somebody else too, but that word is for me. <laughs> and I know in all my situations that I'm going through, watch and see the glory of God. <laughs> watch and see the glory of God. It's coming soon. I have a testimony to share. God bless you in Jesus' name and have a great day. Mm -hmm.